The recon drone has returned in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 and has clearly emerged as one of the most beneficial awareness tools, capable of revealing enemy positions through walls as well as handling unique special deliveries. In today's video, we'll break down all the details, revealing exactly how the recon drone works as well as the most effective ways to use it, helping you decide if it belongs in your go-to class loadout. The in-game description describes the recon drone as a remote-controlled drone that has manual and auto-marking capabilities. It has a slow recharge rate of 204 seconds, which can be significantly improved by getting kills and earning score. We'll begin by analyzing the recon drone's basic operating characteristics. The recon drone has a very fast operating speed of about 9 meters per second, and once deployed, the battery will last for a duration of 45 seconds, or until destroyed by the enemy. You can only have one recon drone active at any time, and you'll be unable to deploy a second drone even if it's available. You can freely enter and exit manual control of the drone at any time, as long as it has battery life remaining. This allows you to tactically exit the drone in order to protect yourself if you observe any danger during your drone's patrol mission. The primary function of the recon drone is enemy awareness. Its detection range is 100 meters and will detect enemies through walls by displaying a white crosshair symbol. Once a direct line of sight is established within the recon drone's central camera region, the enemy will be marked. This marking process will highlight enemies for your entire team with a red diamond which will be visible through walls. Once the enemy leaves the marking area, the red diamond effect will last for 5 additional seconds before fading. This marking process is very similar to the tactical camera, however the recon drone offers a huge advantage by providing passive marking capabilities. This allows you to exit manual control of the drone and continue to receive enemy position information. The drone will even scan from side to side and continue to mark enemies which are initially outside of the marking circle. A good strategy is to simply aim the drone at a common choke point before exiting manual control and you'll be continually notified of enemy presence. An interesting feature of the recon drone is its ability to carry a payload. A proximity mine can be placed on top and delivered to the enemy. Once it detects enemy movement, the mine will activate and deal its normal amount of damage. A death can be avoided by crouching or going prone. A C4 can also be equipped but is less effective as you'll need to exit manual control in order to detonate the C4. The most effective payload is probably the Claymore, which has the highest kill potential and will activate as soon as it detects enemy movement within its activation range. It's worth mentioning that if the drone is destroyed or its battery runs dry, any equipment placed on top will simply fall to the ground and remain in its active state. Proximity mines and Claymores will remain active and C4s will still be able to be remotely detonated. The recon drone can be countered in several ways. The cold-blooded perk is effective and although cold-blooded users will be visible through walls, automatic marking won't be possible. However, manual marking is still available by pinging an enemy while they're in the center of the drone's marking circle. The DDoS field upgrade which scrambles enemy electronics provides a minimal resistance to the recon drone scrambling the HUD and restricting movement for a period of about 3 seconds. The spotter perk will reveal enemy equipment through walls and once located the recon drone can be easily destroyed with a few rounds from any gun. The high level of mobility combined with its long range wall hacking capabilities makes the recon drone quite possibly overpowered. 
Reducing its wall hacking detection range from 100 meters down to about 30 meters would put it more in line with other awareness-based field upgrades such as the tactical camera and provide a more balanced gameplay experience. Of course, this is only my opinion and now it's time to hear from you guys. Is the recon drone perfectly balanced as is or does it need a change? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.